The ketogenic diet has been called a fad diet, a new fashionable way of eating, but it really is not. In this video, we're going to go over what a ketogenic diet looks like for an epileptic patient. And you want to stay until the very end where I'm going to give you an example of what a meal plan looks like for children with epilepsy following a ketogenic diet. <laughs> The truth is that the ketogenic diet has existed since ancient Greece and it actually resurfaced in 1921 when Dr. Wilder at Mayo Clinic created a high fat, low carb diet in order to mimic fasting for his epileptic patients. But who am I anyway? Well, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Thalita from Shrinking with Keto and throughout my ketogenic journey, I have lost over 190 pounds and reverse my type 2 diabetes. Now throughout this journey, I have coached and helped plenty of people reach their goal and I hope to do the same for you. Full disclaimer, we're talking about epilepsy here and I'm not a doctor nor a medical professional of any kind. What I do is extensive research and this video is meant for informational purposes only. On a very recent interview, the professor of neurology, Dr. Eric Kossoff, who is considered an expert when it comes to child epilepsy and the ketogenic diet, said that thankfully the ketogenic diet has grown in popularity to treat the symptoms of epilepsy, not only in children, but also in adults. He now calls it, and I quote, a medical mainstream. Now, back in somewhere between 1921 and 1923, Dr. Wilder noticed that by following this diet, he could reduce the occurrence of seizures in 50% of his patients, and in 15% of those cases, the seizures completely went away. The ketogenic diet has shown to be effective even where the medicine cannot help the seizures in children with epilepsy. Now, over the years, there have been many modifications of the ketogenic diet when it comes to treating the symptoms of epilepsy, but the most popular one up to date is the 4-1 ratio. That means that you have four times the amount of fat as to proteins and carbohydrates. They have also tried on other ratios as the three to one ratio and the two to one ratio. And usually the lower ratios are done so that it can be more applicable long-term by the patients. We have also seen the modified version of the Atkins diet being used for epileptic seizures. And this is usually easier to maintain because you do not have to count the calories or measure everything. And also it allows a little bit more protein. Now, obviously, the higher the ratio of fat to carbs and protein, the easier and the faster you will be in ketosis. Now, according to Dr. Berg, they still don't know exactly how this helps with the seizures and why it works, but they see that it does in many cases. Some hypothesis as to why this occurs, and I quote, is that it increases the stability of the synapses between your neurons. Secondly, ketones have an anticonvulsant effect. And finally, it decreases brain inflammation. Now, the reason the ketogenic diet works with seizures and epilepsy could be any one of the three theories, or it could be the three of them combined together. Whatever it is, it seems very promising. Besides, it's very well documented by now that our brain runs very efficiently on ketone bodies. In my opinion, when following a ketogenic diet for any reason, especially for epilepsy, it is very important to look closely at the quality of food. The meat should be grass-fed, grass-finished, the fish should be wild-cut, Please, it's very important to stay away from hydrogenated fats and vegetable oils, as it is very important to stay away from processed foods because they have an inflammatory response in our body. And that kind of comes against everything that we're trying to do by following a ketogenic diet for seizures. I'm sure you've all seen protocols such as lazy keto or dirty keto with a lot of vegetable oils, fried foods, and processed meat, but that usually aims at the population that is using the ketogenic diet for weight loss because if you're within your macros, you will still lose weight. But when we're talking about medical ketosis, when we're talking about things like the ketones decreasing the inflammation in our brain. The last thing you want to do is add processed meats or vegetable oils in the mix and increase the inflammation. Before we move on to my next suggestion and an example meal plan, let me interrupt you for a second. If this is the first time you're seeing this pretty face, come on, let's make sure it's not the last. So please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell icon so that YouTube can let you know every single time I make a new video for you. And please feel free to ask me anything you want down in the comment section below. 
and I will try my best to answer every single one of your questions. Now, along with a ketogenic diet, I strongly suggest that you implement some sort of fasting routine. Besides, it was fasting or starvation, as they called it back then, that showed the improvement with the seizures in the first place. Then they tried to mimic fasting through the ketogenic diet. So imagine how you can accelerate results and how you can help the quality of your life by implementing fasting in your ketogenic diet. Now, if you've never fasted before or if we're doing this at a child, Instead of looking at a 16-hour fast or an 18-hour fast, don't be so strict. In the beginning, try to go from eating three meals a day to eating two meals a day. Make sure those meals are full of fat and calorie dense so that they can keep you satiated for much longer. Now, if you want to know more about the types of fasting, all you have to do is check my video above. Now, let's look at a sample menu as it was suggested by the medical community. For breakfast, eggs made with heavy cream cheese and butter and perhaps a small serving of strawberries. For lunch, a hamburger patty topped with cheddar, cooked broccoli, green beans or carrots with melted butter and some whipped cream. For dinner, grilled chicken breast with cheese and mayonnaise, cooked vegetables with butter and again, some heavy whipped cream. And especially for children who want snacks, you can use small servings of food with heavy whipped cream and sugar-free gelatin. A great tip would be to use MCT oil inside the mix of your fats because MCT oil, medium chain triglycerides, converts immediately into ketone bodies in our body and we want to flood our brain with ketones as much as possible. So if you have gotten any value out of this video, I will kindly ask you to press the thumbs up button as this helps YouTube take this content and push it out to more people that need it, just like you. So there you have it, an overview of what a ketogenic diet would look like for an epileptic patient and an example of a meal plan as it was presented by the medical community. And as always, chin up, or you know, the crown slips.